In this video, we are going to be looking at invoices, and this is also sometimes called the tax invoice. So take note of that. This is relevant to grade 11 and grade 12 maths lit students. Okay, so let's start off by looking at what exactly is an invoice. This is given to the client after uh, goods or services have been provided okay and it is basically then a request for payment on this document it will also then specify the amount due so that's the amount the client needs to pay and you will see things like uh, banking details and other info. I want us to look at an example of this. Okay, here is such a document you will see from and you will see the name of the company that's providing the services or goods, maybe some other information about the company. And this is also the VAT registration number. So the company, because they also have to pay VAT on their goods. Every invoice has a unique number. And finally, the name of the customer. So that's two. We are giving this document to the customer and maybe some additional information. Okay, starting with the important part, the quantity. So how many of each item, a description, what exactly was done. So there was an oil filter change, two new brake pads, four spark plugs and labor. Now, this is difficult. Labor is difficult to quantify, right? So that's why they say one, but then in brackets, they say three hours. This was a car service. The car was serviced at 75,000 K. Okay. Just want to write something there. When we get to the unit price, this is the price per or the price for one unit. So it would be for one oil filter change or one brake pad or peel brake pads. And we don't know the price here. Actually, they're charging 550 per hour for the labor. This is quantified in hours. And then disc percentage, that's actually discount. Sometimes you're lucky and they give you a nice little discount. Okay. And they would specify the percentage here. Finally, the amount. This is also called the total cost. And this is basically the quantity and the unit price and then in total what is it going to cost I have a little triangle I can use for these three things so let me get my triangle and you could use this on any major financial document it works as follows so at the top you have your total amount then uh, on the side uh, let me give myself more space here okay so on the side is your unit price or your price for just one item and on the other side your quantity how many of each item say now I am looking for the total amount how would I get it well I would just multiply the quantity and the unit price say I'm looking for one of these bottom ones I would just take my total amount and I would divide, right? I would say here divide by the unit price or total divide by the quantity. Okay. Let's go and actually try this and figure out we are supposed to find the missing values. That is our job and that's the question. Let's find the missing values. We start off by seeing, okay, we have A. So two brake pads and the unit price for one is 217.50. So what's the total? Cool. Since I am just looking for the total amount, I can multiply the quantity and the unit price. And that gives me 435. I'm going to write it in here by A as well. 435 Rand. Next, I see the B, the spark plug, there were four of them, and that's the total. So now I'm looking for the unit price. Okay, if I want to find the unit price B, I need to divide. So I need to say the total divided by 
the quantity. Total in this case 147.36 divided by 4 and that gives you 36.84. Finally, now I'm looking for the discount. Okay, so if this cost us the labor 550 per hour and this was for three hours, let's just get the total then. I would say 550 times 3, and this side would be 1650, right? Just this part. But they're looking for the percentage discount. And at the end, I only paid 1.4. So maybe this person was supposed to pay 1.6 and then they paid 1,400. Now, I don't know if you remember, but there is a formula. You can call it percentage change. And you just find the difference in the two amounts divided by the original amount. And since you're looking for the percentage, you have to times by 100. So let's do that. Let's find the difference. So this person was supposed to pay 1650. Let's subtract that with what was actually charged. And let's divide it by the original amount, 1650. I multiply by 100 at the end to see the final answer. And in fact, you would see 15%. Wow, this person got a 15% discount. All right, now the subtotal. So in this case, the subtotal, I just add everything. I just add all the total amounts. There's nothing really to it. Um, let me just write a proper plus in there. I just add all the amounts. So it would be the 194, the A, the 147, the 1402. Put them in your calculator, add them, and you get something like two, one seven eight point eight six okay in the case of that so this would be e we're looking for now in the case of that we remember that that is actually also 15 percent right so if i want to find e i need to find 15 percent of that subtotal amount two one seven eight so 15% of this amount. And when you do that, you find the answer of 326.83. Okay. You can also just put that in your calculator. Finally, we weren't asked to determine the total, but let me show you how to do it, just in case. When you want to find the total, Often it's just the case of taking the subtotal, taking the VAT, and adding that. So your whole, the whole price, the amount, plus VAT, because you need to charge that, and that will give you the total. And when you add those two, you will actually see the final amount this person needs to pay, 2,505.69. Right, that's the end of our video. Please like, share, subscribe for more.